Haro! Ra! Yeah. <laughs> I love Oscar the Grouch. He's my favorite. Uh, so anyway, Jared Pollan, fro knows photo. Dot com. I'm in my soccer garb, my nice hat, with my Australian soccer jersey on, or football, for all you other people out there in the world. Um, let's see. So, Mr. Gizzy O'Toole, you may remember him from such videos as purchasing your 70 to 200 Sigma from Jared Poland at Allen's Camera. And he had a question. He's now using Lightroom 3, as he just set it up, and he was editing his files, and I get a text message. How do I save my changes? And I had to think. I'm like, what do you mean? And then I had him call me, and he said, I don't know how to save the changes. I want to save the changes I made. Where do I do that? So that brings up a good question for everybody just starting with Lightroom. Your changes are automatically saved in the catalog. So when you are in the develop module and you make any changes to your files, the files are uh, the changes are auto automatically saved in the catalog and then also when you're editing your nef files or your uh, whatever canon uses your their raw files there is a sidecar file that is called an xmp file so let me show in folder and it's a a full look at this it's a little file that takes up no space that contains all of your uh, all of your changes that you've made to the file. That's a good thing. So, you could also delete this if you ever wanted to start over fresh again, but if you ever wanted to start over again, you can always hit this reset button down here in the bottom corner, and that would take this back to the way it was shot, which was really terrible, and that's why I pumped it up. But then, if you want to make other types of changes, you want to go back, you have your history over here. So... I can go back to where it was exported, and if you look up in this box right up here, when you hover over something, you can see all the different changes from when it was imported to when it was last exported. So that was the change I liked, and I went right back to that because that is, uh, is saved still in your history. So all those changes that you've made, you can always go back, and just, just by hovering over it, you can see what it's going to look like up here in this preview window. So for Mr. Gizio Tool, you can automatically save your XMP data. There is a way to do that. Uh, basically, you go to Catalog Settings, and here's your box, Metadata, and I have set Automatically Write Changes into XMP. So if you have a slower computer, you may want to leave this off so that it's not always saving the changes into the XMP uh, information. The way to do that is you would select all your files, control A, and hit control S, and that would save all the changes uh, metadata into that sidecar XMP file. And that is really it for that basic how you save your changes when you're in Lightroom. It automatically does it into that XMP file. And then Greg helped me out because he sent me um, I sent him a, a raw file to play with to tweak the color, and he I, he sent it back to me as a DNG, and I expected two files back, an XMP file that I install, that, uh, that I put right next to it, so that I could get the right changes that he made, um, but I only got one file back, it was a DNG, and then I'm like, Greg, where's the XMP file? I was like, the DNG file already contains all the changes, so... That's the, the DNG is the digital negative file that Adobe was trying to get everybody to use that basically nobody decided to use. I'm pretty sure that Leica uses it. It would have been cool to have one format, but Nikon wasn't giving up their control and neither was Canon. So that's why the DNG file probably will go away, even though it would have been cool to have one supported file for the future. So there you go. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. Oscar the Grouch. Blah. That's an Oscar the Grouch voice. And this was your uh, How Did the Files Save XMP Data? All the changes you make. Talk to you later. See ya!